Uh, my name is Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. And in a flash, we're on to the main event, the Hollywood Bets Durban July, the premier race on the continent. And this is a race that makes dreams come true. Let's have a look at uh, our package that we got for you before we come through and uh, give our selections. Between runners, Electric Gold, Quasi for sure, extreme right hand side. In Lamu, Rascalians running a big race between them. Cape Eagle the outside, Pakaya's getting into it, Quasi for sure late on. And Pakaya's coming home, storming on the outside. Pakaya's gonna get up. Pakaya won it, Winchester Mansion, Rascalian, and looking to stay on for the minor positions. Maybe one way. Oh, sir. Silver Darling defending her crown comes on the outside of runners. Inside the 300, time flies Peach Daiquiri. Silver Darling loom large on the outside. Towards the inside, Rain and Holland's trying to pick them up. A four way go, the last hundred. Rain in Holland now finds top stride. Another breathtaking win from time flies Silver Darling. Then we have a photo in behind that. In Involving a number of Christian cousin Casey. See it again on the right hand side. Pierce Stratum still hands and heels. Yes, see it again starting to come forward. Dave the King. Cousin Casey's running a race to the inside. See it again is coming at Dave the King, the last hundred. And he's doing as he is bred. He has the call. See it again, Dave the King. Without question. And then came Cousin Casey. Showcase. She's had a really good prep. She's in a good space. She's got a half decent draw, and with that weight, who knows? I mean, uh, I'm happy with her. The draw is, uh, you know, it could get a bit bumpy, but he's a big boy. Um, he's he's fitting well, so I must say, well done to Justin. Uh, his team's done uh, a great job with it. Yeah. He's as I'm as confident with him going into this race as any of the races I have with him. Uh, beautifully weighted. You know, he's. It, and a six draw, six July, six draw, number six. He, they, don't count this horse out of anything. I'm very happy with my horse. You know, he's 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 in a good space. He's he's done everything right. There's no negativity whatsoever. You know, I've got a good jockey on top, uh, experienced rider. Uh, but I must say, you know, look here, the July's the July. So, you know, it's a different race compared compared to other, you know, normal racing, and. Uh, you know, I just hope we have a nice trouble-free run. So I give Moss a massive chance because I got no weight and uh, I'm very well drawn. He's, he stays the trip. He's one of the best stayers. If the temp was hot, it even suits him better. So bullish about my chances and just hoping for a massive run. Not a bad draw at all. Um, I, I didn't. I did want to sort of be draw in the middle. Um, I just feel I'll, ha I'll have more options from there. You know, now and again you're drawn really well and anything can happen. You might not get the best of breaks. And with him, you want everything to go his way. You want a very good break. And I'm looking forward to it. I think um, things go his way and he, he goes through the race with a, with a good head on him and doing it his way. He's, he's a runner, especially now that the weights stay down a bit. Look, yeah, obviously the gravel... The gravel turn is a lot sharper and uh, once you get into the straight you really don't have time to think and within that in mind I, I, I asked him a little bit earlier just to, to get his mind on it and just prepare him for, for a tighter track and it seemed to work and yeah he's doing exceptionally well, he's, he's in good form and uh, can only hope he brings his form July day. Draw 12, fine, not, not concerned, last year's winner was drawn 12, nice omen. Uh, <laughs> Doing really well, maybe doing a bit too well. I, obviously, to keep his weight down, I had, we couldn't run him again. So, because every time we were running him, the handicappers, yeah. you know, notching up the yeah, the, yeah. the weight. So I, we had to put him away, which always is a little bit of a risk because you you are coming in fresh, not um, as 
overdone or as fit as some of the other horses. But that can also play into our part, our favour, whereas a lot of these horses are travelling a lot. they at the end of their season. They've had a, a, a Joburg season into a Natal season. He has a horse that is just fresh and ready to go. I've got to manage it, though, because he is he's peaking uh, quite a bit, right. and I need to just tone, down, tone him down a little bit. And if I get that right, the mixture right, uh, he's a horse that's going to be a, a big runner. Um, he's come through his run very, very well sounder than I've ever seen him. Um, he's in a very good space himself, um, but as I've said numerous times, yeah. um, he doesn't give away much at work. Yes, uh, yeah, you know, draw, it's not really the end of the world for him. He's going to have to drop in anyway, um, obviously with the distance being a, a question mark. Um, you know, he hasn't really gone past the mile and, you know, he's, he's been such a great horse this last season since he's been gelded. I mean, he's, he's done absolutely nothing wrong. Um, gone to all centres, one group one, group two, you name it, he's done this season. So, I, you know, I can't really ask much more of him. I thought we might as well have a bash and see how he goes in the July. We've got nothing to lose. Um, you know, he's in really good shape at the moment. His work has been really good this week. And, um, yeah, we're just really taking our chances. Top weight, uh, with, a, with the distance being a question mark, obviously some, some you know, negatives against him. But, uh, as I say, he's in good shape. And I certainly know that he will be running on in the straights. And, uh, you know, if, if the pace is not too strong, um, I've seen stranger things happen in the July and I've, I've, there have been quite a few horses that don't quite see out the distance and have still managed to win the July. So we've got a ticket, we're in with a chance, he's in good shape and uh, you know, if things work out for him and, and he manages to see the trip out then uh, he certainly could be a runner. Yeah, she's taken her last run really well. Um, I thought it was a win full of merit, uh, quickened up really nicely in a slow run race. She's really going well through her paces at home, had a good gallop in between. Very happy with it. it it's, a, it's a draw where you're under no pressure whatsoever, and uh, that's what this horse will enjoy. Um, if he was drawn one, I would have said uh, you, you, can, you can count his chances now. Yeah. 18 draw yeah. in the game, uh, but complete hit and miss. There's a lot of horses in this race that have never been able to and never will be able to run at the level that he's run on certain moments. Yeah. They're just not that good. He is, but... And there's always the butt. How's he going to play up in front of all the, in front of the crowd screaming and shouting? Um, we're going to do everything we can, so fingers crossed. Well, it is crunch time now. It is a quartet pool that is going to pay very handsomely with that sweetener. And they say 10 million. This quartet is going to, <laughs> it's going to go way past 10 million. Uh, this year is going to go, and it can pay an absolute fortune if you get the right numbers in the right position. I've seen this quartet pay telephone numbers in the part, other stuff. You know, firstly, let's just talk about the race personally. You know, and uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful field. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, they're quality horses here, but personally, I'd like to start off by saying that if a 40 to one shot has to win this year's Hollywood Bets Durban in July, I won't be shocked. I'll be out because I've kept things pretty tight. It's, mm. It is the greatest race in Africa. It's not even close. The place will be packed four o'clock on Saturday afternoon. The eyes of the world will be on us. I mean, you know, being exposed to a Dubai World Cup and, and the Dubai Carnival, one thing I do know is that when it comes to South African racing, please believe me, the world's watching our big races. They love it because, you know, let's say hypothetically the export opens up. You know, how many of these horses are going to be able to go? I'm sure there'll be people snapping away at horses like Seer again without question because they've got age on their side, Dave the King as well. Um, you know, it's a race that has huge implications, obviously in South Africa, but abroad as well. So you don't want to be making mistakes. You'd, it's, again, very cliched, but the horse who wins is probably going to be the luckiest horse in running. Now, I've been keen on Pakaya since... February of like Pekaya because obviously I knew that the idea was to get him into the Hollywood Bets Durban July off the lowest possible weight, off the lowest possible rating and almost Bulgarian him like Justin Snaith did in 2020. You know, a horse that you know wasn't really up in the limelight for a lot of his career and then all of a sudden got in right weight. Richard Fareeb got him to victory here. So Pekaya is pretty much aligned with Bulgarian. That's my line of thinking. 
But there's so many other factors at play here. Now, Pakai has got probably the right type of draw, but then Richard Ferry chooses without question. We've got the beautiful story of Mace Roberts. Can he, can he win with Seat again? Can he become the, uh, the next jockey trainer to have won the race as a jockey and then win it as a trainer? Pierre Stratum was likely to be his last Hollywood bets Durban July. Can he recreate the magic of all those famous winners that he's ridden in Africa's great race? All these different chapters. And I think when it comes to a popular winner, I think there are two that will be more popular than the others. Do it again and see it again. The fact that do it again is out just a breaker record. Become the first horse to win this great race three times on the back of what was, and I don't read too much into the gallops, but on the back of what was a sensational gallop as well. What a race. You know, all these questions will be answered at five past four. Well, we can sit and talk for hours about the field, about the different angles with the connections, but it is now crunch time. Hollywood bets. They sent us no significant movers, but we know there have been major moves in the market from the time of the derby. And one of them is See It Again, who was at around 66 to 1 and now is the ruling favorite. Alistair, let's, I think let's do this. Let's do four horses and then let's do three horses in order of preference. The, okay, we'll do five horses. Do five horses to help the guys for this quartet. Let, let, let's do five horses, and then we do three horses in order of preference. I'm going to give you my three horses in order of preference, and then I'm going to give you my two runners after you give me your, your, your top three. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm go ten, mm -hmm. uh, Dave the King. Uh, I've mentioned it before, but I, I just think I have no issues with the distance. His preparation for me, preparation is key into this race, 1,200, 1,600, 2,000. Uh, I'd like to see him in front, and I'm hoping if he's in front. If he's not in front with his big loping stride, the massive horse that he is, I think he'll have issues. But I think he's got the gate speed, he's got the perfect draw. That's my top choice. Dave the King to beat number two without question, and then see it again. So I'm telling you that I'm in the camp of the three year olds. Okay, well, I'm going totally different. Yeah. I'm going number 12, Pakaya. Yeah. For number four, Winchester Mansion, yeah. and 14, Safe Passage. So I'm against the three year olds. I'm going with the older horses. Okay, one's for the three-year-olds and one for the older horses. This is a proper match now because you've got two guys on different sides of the fence. There may be guys out there that will be mixing and matching the older horses and the three-year-olds, and you're going to have to do this for this quartet. My two other horses are the obvious two horses for Winchester Mansion. Then I go to the older horses and Pakaya, who is horse number 12. They seem to be the best handicap horses in the race. They may not have the X factor, but I think after gelding, both these horses have certainly come alive and it could be calculated moves from their stable, the way they brought them into the race of this type of weight. So I'm going to go with my two other runners, four and 12. And my other two are 15 Rascalian and 17 Rain and Holland. That's 17. a big quartet, but that's a winning quartet. Yo, this is proper because if I, I just want to do this, okay? Alistair's given me 12, 4, 14, 15, and 17. Dees has gone 2, 4, 7. Uh, no, sorry. 2, 7, 10. Sorry. 2, 7, 10. And then uh, 4 being a common denominator, 12 being a common denominator. So we take that out. So we take 12. So it's 2, 7, 10, 4, 12. 14, 15, and 17. That's the box quartet. Can't miss. I mean, those seem to be the right horses, don't they? Older horses, younger horses. You box it and you hope for the worst. But I'm not hoping for the worst. I like Dave the King. Alistair likes Pakaya. Race number seven. Anything else to add before we wrap it up? May the best man win. Yeah, may the best uh, syndicate, may the best uh, connections, may the best horse win. Yeah, this is going to be an absolute cracker. The 2023 Hollywood Bets, Durban, July. Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the Same Foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.